We've talked about being a first time home buyer, but what if you are buying from scratch, meaning you're building a home? Well, guess what? Today we have a real estate expert to share more, Andrew Jones with Liberty Group Realty. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Jessica. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So this is a interesting topic, and this is something that you actually have specialty in because you've been in this industry for over a decade and have worked at all facets to bring us here. So share a little bit about your journey to become a real estate agent. Absolutely. Uh, so my inception of my journey starts uh, 2010 um, when the idea was presented to myself to get my license. Uh, long story short, I get my license in 2012, um, then end up graduating, working for a builder um, as a new sales rep and maintaining my license. Then we get licensed as a loan officer uh -huh. and then to uh, practicing general real estate as a realtor. Um, a lot of that inception and just um, the why is I enjoy service and I believe service is purpose. Yes. So that is how I serve. Okay, awesome. And I love that because I, it feels like all of those different levels of experience really culminates to the point of doing your best job Absolutely. as a real estate agent, but particularly helping first time home buyers um, with building from scratch. Mm -hmm. And that's not something really talked about much because you're used to, okay, having an established home and a seller selling you their home. Yeah. But what if you buy from scratch? Who is the seller? Great question. So the seller, if you're building from scratch, is actually the builder. Okay. Um, they're going to act as the seller. Uh, a lot of people don't know you can work with a builder while still having a realtor representation. Mm -hmm. So you can go in there, have someone as a realtor looking out for you. Um, the builder is as well. Mm -hmm. But you can start that process from scratch, picking out a floor plan, personalizing it, um, you know, whatever caters to your needs and wants. Um, but then you can also buy a spec home, which is a home that's built off of speculation uh -huh. that this is what somebody would like. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So, I'm sure people are thinking like, oh my goodness, if it's my first time buying a home, wouldn't mm. that be challenging to actually get it from <laughs> scratch? Like, that sounds like a lot of work. So, what do you think are maybe a couple of misconceptions people yeah. encounter with this thought process? Absolutely. Um, so for one, like we just said, that you can have a realtor. Okay. I think that's gonna alleviate a lot of the stress, especially if it's a realtor that is experienced in new construction mm -hmm. and just that process. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be, I guess, myth one mm -hmm. that we can debunk is that you can't have a realtor. Okay. Uh, myth two is that new construction, um, you gotta put 20% down, that's, mm. that's a common in general with home buying, but yes, yeah, just like buying existing, you can do the minimum, okay. the minimum down payment, depending on your loan type. Mm -hmm. um, and then the third would probably be that is possible. Anybody can, if you're a first time buyer, um, getting your second home, whatever the case may be, you can go with a builder um, and build from scratch or just buy something that they've already built and yeah. alleviate the time. So that gives a couple of different options now. I'm thinking about it and I'm listening. So someone can buy from a seller, but if you do want a home, mm -hmm. it could be a home that you build from scratch, that you're choosing all the fixtures yes. and all of the options, or like you said, a spec home. Yes. A spec home, just to be clear, is something that is brand new. Mm -hmm. No one's lived there, but, but you don't get to make the customizable decisions. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Typically with a spec, it's already built or it's in the process of getting built. And mm -hmm. a lot of people, that's, there we go, that might be a better one. If it's a spec <laughs> home, but it's not finished, that they can come in and, you know, they're like, hey, well, you haven't put the countertops in yet. Can I change this? Mm -hmm. All that stuff is usually already ordered mm -hmm. and on its way. So okay. a lot of builders might be reluctant um, to make those changes because, you know, that's added cost and it's already been bought. Right. So, but yes, you can, you might be able to make some small ones depending on what stage you come in there, but overall, yes, the house is built and you pretty much are getting what they've already selected. Okay. What are some of the pros and cons between the two? New home versus established home. Okay, uh, so we'll start with the pros. Okay. We'll say pros of new home, um, it's brand new. Yes, So <laughs> brand new. <laughs> so no one's lived there. You don't, you're not uh, adopting or inheriting someone else's, uh, you know, issues um, mm -hmm. that they have with that house. So brand new, it comes with a warranty okay. um, in most cases, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, so you have that security, if you will. And as well, um, it retains its value typically mm -hmm. better because obviously it's brand new, mm -hmm. you know. So um, pros would be that. Um, 
cons, it can be a time situation depending on what your schedule is. Yeah. Typically, I mean, depending on like uh, material chain lines and stuff like mm -hmm. that, it could take anywhere from eight to 12 months, mm -hmm. maybe longer if you're doing yeah. like a customized. So on average, you gotta, you know, you're gonna have to take that in consideration. Maybe you need a house in the next two months because your lease is expiring. Right. Uh, uh. But that's where a spec home might be mm -hmm. more advantageous because it's already built or it's it'll be done within the next two months. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be, could be a pro or con. Um, Another kind of entry barrier, I would say, price point is typically okay. higher because it's brand new. Okay. Um, so that could be a hindrance for some people depending on what their budget is. Mm -hmm. It might not seem as affordable mm -hmm. in that season. Um, so, yeah, that would be, I would say, the pros and cons. Um, but a good thing, I think, in this market right now as a pro, a lot of builders are offering incentives. Oh. Um, they have inventory that they mm. need to <laughs> they need to move, mm. if you will, and so they're offering incentives to incentivize buyers to hey come over here. We'll you know give you this much in upgrades and allowance. Oh. We might buy your rate down a little mm -hmm. bit. We um, we might even take some off the price. So it just it just depends on what the builder's offering. So definitely shop around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much thank for you. your advice today, Andrew. We I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you so much, Jessica. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And whether you're looking for your dream home or just a right now home, there are so many options available on the market, but you need a good real estate agent to help navigate you through it all. So if you would like more information about Liberty Group Realty, we'll have their website listed below and we'll be right back.